All right, guys. A little change of pace now. This next beer I'm about to review is from Firemaker Brewing Company. I think they're out of Georgia. Yeah, Atlanta, Georgia. So, this could be a hit or miss. I'm not familiar with Firemaker. Um, I'm not a big lager guy. I'm a IPA guy. Anybody that knows me will tell you. But, now that I'm getting older, I'm expanding my palate. <coughs> and I'm giving different beers a chance. So, this is going to be one of the lower alcohol beers. It's 4.8%. So, I guess you can categorize this as a session lager. I know session usually means you can drink a lot of them at one, one time. So, I could probably have three or four of these and I'm good. As opposed to the IPAs that I like. You drink three or four of those and whoo, lights out. Alright guys, see what's going on with it. Beer Advocate did not have this. It came up as uh, non-applicable, applicable, excuse me. So it was two reviews on Beer Advocate. There was no score, but it was two reviews. One person said they liked it, the other person said they didn't. And I kind of like reviews like that. I don't like reviews, everybody loves it. I'm like, ah. Uh, so it has different opinions, so I'm going to give y'all mine. I'm getting rice initially. First thing I get rice and yeast. I know most lagers you're going to get the yeast. Your typical lager is not going to be overly hoppy like a Sierra Nevada Torpedo. Shout out to them. This almost has like a like a Budweiser color. That light golden straw color. Very minimal head. Yeah, rice. Rice and yeast. A little bit of barley. All right, guys, here goes. I don't. I'm not expecting much from this. Something I don't know. The aroma. It has a flat aroma. So I don't. I don't know. We'll see. I forgot to say cheers. Cheers. No. As I anticipated, you know, once you, once you get to a certain point of drinking beers, especially craft beers, the color, the presentation, the aroma, a lot of times it give you the indicators that you need. And yeah, based on the color, the aroma, and the finish, it's got a weird, that malty, yeasty, chemically processed finish. Like This tastes domestic. And that's my big issue with a lot of lagers. You got lagers that come out of craft breweries that taste domestic. The IPA can be flavorful, but the lager is like, uh, uh. I don't like this. So I'm going to have to give Firemaker a beer advocate score of like, 73. It's not terrible, it's not awful, it's not poor. It's just below average. Come on, Firemaker, y'all gotta do better than this. I'm gonna get back to you guys <clears throat> with some full-flavored lagers, and I'm gonna be on a search for them. If you have any suggestions on a full-flavored lager for an IPA drinker like me, give me a shout. Ah. Uh.